Today we're going to talk about when it's okay to roll the bar back in the deadlift and when it's definitely not okay. Coming up next. So you've probably seen a lot of like World Strongest Man competitors and sometimes like big time power lifters. They roll the bar in and deadlift the thing up. In fact, I used to be guilty of doing this exact same thing, right? I did it for a long time. The reality is that rolling the bar back, this horizontal movement, does not lead to, to vertical movement. And so you really have to time it correctly. And you'll watch a lot of these guys, they'll roll the bar in, they'll start pulling too soon, the bar won't be on their shins, or they'll wait till it like wax their shins and they pull it up. It becomes a really tough timing issue. And they're doing that because they're big guys, they have a hard time getting a breath in at the bottom of the deadlift, so they gotta roll it in. They're trying to take their breath and then roll the thing in and get tight and go. Right, so in general, we don't wanna roll the bar in on the first rep of the deadlift. However, most people set rep two down or at the end of rep one in front of midfoot. And then they bring their shins way too forward of the, of the bar and then they pull. So after rep one, so we set up rep one and I'm gonna have you model it here in a second, right on your shins, drag the thing up set it down, you might set it down in front of midfoot. I would love for you to set it down directly over midfoot, but again, most people set it down a little in front of midfoot. The first step that you have to make is to roll the bar back over midfoot first, and then shins, knees, chest, pull, down, roll back. Shins, knees, chest, pull, set it down, right? So that's the goal. So let's have you set this up and see what it looks like, set up your normal deadlift. Just like normal, just try to do it right. One inch from the bar, take your grip. Shins, chest, squeeze your chest up, drag the bar up, just like that, set it down. Boom. Roll it back, perfect. Chest up, pull, down. Roll it back, chest up, squeeze, go, down, roll it back. One more, last one, chest up, and pull. That's the key, right? So the key is that every first, the deadlift coming off the ground must be over midfoot when you pull it. And so many people get used to this five-step deadlift setup where the, the very first thing they do is they, once they have their grip, they bring their shins to the bar. Well, if the bar is way out here and I bring my shins to the bar, my knees are way forward of the bar. So the bar's not over midfoot. Remember that the very first step we do on rep one is we put the bar one inch from the shins. If I set the bar down forward of one inch from the shins, I have to roll it back into that position first. That sets me in the correct position to pull however many reps I have in the set. Rep one is smooth because you've got your time to set up all five steps. But starting with rep two, you really only have three steps. You already have your stance, you already have your grip. If you put the bar in the wrong place and you go right to the shins and knee position, then you've screwed this thing up. So you might have to add that extra step of roll the bar back first over mid, over mid foot, and then shins, knees, chest, pull. That's why it's okay to roll the bar back on reps two and beyond, and never okay to roll the bar back on rep one, right? For more great tips on deadlift, deadlift form, deadlift technique, deadlift accessories, deadlift tips and tricks, and just how to do the deadlift in general, click the link right up here. Right.